Hi there, my sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making another fall wreath using the grapevine wreath form from Hobby Lobby and that cute little red truck from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna show you how I made it even cuter. The flowers are from Dollar Tree, the ribbon is from Hobby Lobby, and I use some fall picks from Walmart. Like I said, the grapevine form is from Hobby Lobby and it's part of the fall collection. So, you know, it's all 40% off. Dollar Tree signs are cute, but they're printed paper and they're on chipboard, which makes it kind of hard when you want to design a wreath that you want to put this on and put it outside. So I had a viewer leave a comment and said, put a couple of coats of Mod Podge on them. So I'm going to give this a try. Now, um, for the little red truck, I'm going to enhance it because I don't, it's a little boring. <laughs> So I'm going to take my black Sharpie marker and my white paint and I am going to just doodle it up. This is just a personal preference because I like to make things cute. I'm attaching my sign here with the wire, but once I put my flowers on the top, I realized that the roof of my truck was too close to the top. So if you recreate this project, don't make that mistake. Um, actually, you can put your sign on last, you know, after you get your flowers on, because there's enough room with the grapevine, you can you know, attach it after you get your flower swag on if you recreate this project. I have my flowers laid the way that I want my swag I just take a piece of the black wire because it's flexible enough for me to gather my flowers and you know get them all wired together and then I'm gonna take some thicker wire and I'm gonna show you that in just a second right here this brown paper colored wire. I get this in the floral section at the craft stores. I'm thinking that you can get it at Hobby Lobby um, and Michael's, Joann's, anywhere that floral uh, artificial flowers are sold. Um, I've even bought some at Walmart. I'm not quite sure if they still have that particular one, but I am just, it's a little bit thicker 
And so I'm just wrapping it around just to secure everything together and it works great. And then also this brown wire is the same color as you know the grapevine so that it blends in very well. I'm gonna look on Amazon and I'm sure that I will find something very similar. So you can look in the description box below if you can't find it in the craft store. That way you can order it off of Amazon because in the past I've made projects with this brown colored wire and, or, and I get lots of questions about it and uh, people wanna find it. So right here, you can see the roof of my truck is a bit close to where my swag is. And I hadn't put my ribbon on yet, made my bow. Otherwise, I would have said, oh, girl, that ain't gonna work right there. Anyway, so if you recreate this project, just you know, move your truck roof down, or like I said earlier in the video, you can even put your truck on last once you make your swag and put your adorable bow on there. I'm changing my mind with this ribbon. I'm gonna layer this on uh, next, but to keep this together, I use my tiny attacher little stapler to put a staple in the middle so that my bow doesn't kind of like, you know, unravel. Anyway, so now I'm just putting um, this pumpkin burlap ribbon, making a bow, and I just am making just some loops back and forth about four times, uh, leaving about an eight inch tail, I guess. And then I will just layer my bow. Once I get my raffia in there and I twist my little wire, I take my needle nose pliers and just make some curly cues out of that uh, brown colored wire because you know what? It's the same color as a grapevine and it looks like it was meant to be there with those little curly cues. It all just worked out perfect. So that's what I like to do with my little projects and I hope that um, it inspires you to create one of these too. I would love to see it. If you do, please share with us over in the Country Charm community or tag me on Instagram and um, 
you know, I appreciate you all so much. All of your sweet comments and your support is just absolutely mind blowing. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just going to wrap it up here by showing you how I created just a little bow for um, right on top of the little, you know, truck and I uh, just made a simple little bow and my little project is complete. Thanks again for watching. Y'all have a great day and God bless.